Assalamu alaikum, this is Mustafa Dissouki and this is the first episode in our Mimics Innovation Suite tutorial. In this tutorial, I am using a Compim CT for an auxiliary first pre-molar tool. First of all, we have to adjust the contrast for better visualization. By moving this slider to the right and to the left, Once the optimal contrast is accomplished, we can start our segmentation. Click on the new mask icon and start determining the optimum threshold for enamel. Thresholding selects all pixels within a certain height field range at the same mask. By moving the slider to the left, you can include more pixels in your selection. And by moving the slider to the right, you will include all the pixels with the higher hounds field range. Verify your selection on all the axial sections. A green mask is now formed. Rename the green mask by double clicking on green and name it E for enamel. Repeat the same steps and create the mask D for dentine. Every mask shall have a different color, so the dentine mask will be colored here. You must scroll up and down through the exit sections to check your selection. By clicking on the glasses icon, you can target the appearance of the mask on or off. Then we must do reaching drawing for each mask, in order to separate masks into different parts, as well as get rid of floating pixels. Click on the region growing icon in the box, select E mask, and then click on any point on the enamel mask. A new cyan mask is formed. Rename it E new. Select the E-New mask and right-click on it and you choose Calculate 3D from the drop-down menu. Toggle off reference planes in the 3D window. Use your right click button to rotate and the shift button while right clicking to pan in any direction.
Use the mouse scroll to zoom in or out. Repeat the same steps for the dentine mask. We can notice that the formal dentine mask is overlaying the enamel mask on most of its surface. This is because when thresholding the dentine mask, the pixels located on the outer shell of enamel is included within the dentine mask. This is because these pixels have the same Hounds field range of the assigned dentine mask. By using the Edit Mask tool, modifications can be done on the routine mask by addition or subtraction of pixels. Click Edit Mask and select Erase. Set the file to circle and set the width to 18. The height will automatically be changed to 18 also. Erase the unwanted area by holding down the mouse and dragging the cursor over the area to be erased. By scrolling up and down, the same procedure must be repeated for every axial section. Once you have done with editing, begin a new region drawing and name the format orange mask D new 2. Select the DNU2 mask and right click on it and you choose Calculate 3D from the drop down menu. Toggle off the visibility of the old DNT mask. Toggle on the visibility of the enamel mask. Select the ENU1 3D object and right click on it and you choose properties from the drop down menu. Switch its color to white. Now, try to create the last mask, which is the pulp mask. Repeat the same steps, which are thresholding, region growing, and 3D calculation.
named the new mask P for Pug. Switch the color of the pulp to dark red. Login the transparency on or off by clicking on its icon at the upper right corner of the screen. The 3D model is now ready.